Hello everybody, I'm a Dubfoot Collector, and welcome to a video of One Piece card game. Today, um, we're looking at a new Do Nami decklist that I made personally for the store championship this week. Uh, I'm just going to hop into it because I'm kind of busy today, so I'm just going to make this a quick little video. First off with leader, the Nami is a blue leader power 5,000, life of 5. As an additional rule, when your deck reaches 0 cards, you win the match instead of losing it. That is the premise of this entire deck, and pretty much every card here uh, works towards that goal, and nothing else really. Uh... Her other effect reads, Dawn times one, when you have uh, one Dawn card equipped. When your opponent takes damage to their life through the attack of this leader, you may trash one card from the top of your deck. Yeah, that's pretty cool. First off, I'm going to start on the characters here. So we play four Buggy from OP02, a one cost, 2,000 power, 1k counter character, with the fact of on play, look at the five, five, top five cards from the top of your deck, reveal one blue impel down type card other than Buggy, and add it to your hand. And this is going to be adding your Dawes Bones, uh, your, let's see, and, uh, your Impel Down All-Stars, your Arabesque Brick Fist, your Gum Gum Rain, uh, Death Wink, and I'm pretty sure that is it. But all really good cards. Dawes Bones here is going to be one of the characters you're looking for. It's a one cost, 1,000 power character, if I can stop moving my mouse, sorry, with one K counter, and the effect of on play. Add up to one blue event card the cost of one from your trash to your hand. This is a really good card for recycling just good event cards like Death Wink. Um, and a lot of your ones that trash cards like um, like your Usopp's Rubber Band of Doom and Gum Gum Giant Gavel. Next up we play Four Kaya. A one cost power of zero 2k counter character. With the effect of on play, draw two cards and trash two cards from your hand. This is just a good recycler. You're uh, getting two on your deck just for one cost and it's 2k counter if you really really need it next we're playing zeph and i'm going to skip nojiko for now but i'm also going to go into belamir because these two cards do something very similar first off we're playing four zeph a five cost 6k uh power 1000 counter character uh blue card with the effect of when he has one down card equipped when this character deals damage to your opponent's life you may trash seven cards from the top of your deck that is a lot of cards very useful character on play Return up to one character with a cost of three or less to the owner's hand. Then you may trash two cards from the top of your deck. Even if you don't uh, KO a character, you can still trash the top two. So it's just a nice card to even just get played. Or it's also a 1k counter if you really need it. And then Belmir here is a 4 cost to 5,000 power with a 1k counter. Dawn times 1. It does the same thing as Zeph when it deals damage. You trash top 7 cards in your deck. But this also has on KO... You can trash three cards from the top of your deck. And in a meta where uh, Marco and like every deck is running removal cards, this is super, super good just when you even have it on the field. I might even recommend playing four of this if, if you don't if you want to drop like a Nojiko or something like that. Really, really good card. Then Nojiko, since I skipped it, is a two cost, zero power, 1k counter blue card. With effective on play, if your leader is Nami, return up to one of your opponent's characters that cost a five less to the other. Opponent's hand, owner's hand. Uh, really good. Uh, it is only opponent's cards. Um, if, if this was equal, I'd say this might even be useful in some situations just to get like Zeph back in your hand or something like that if you really need it. Um, that's Zeph, but like I don't know, maybe Kaya or getting Buggy back to your hand, Dos Bones just to get their auto play effects back. Um, things would just be really, really useful. All right, on to our uh, ocean of event cards we have. You have two overheat, which is counter. Your leader or up to one of your characters gains plus 1,000 power during this battle. Then return up to one active character with a cost of three or less dealer's hand. A pretty good card. Just for, you know, um, the power you gain off of it. Also, it's just another blue event card you can just play in this deck. Uh, keeps your life up higher long than that. Next up, you have Desert Spot, a one cost counter. Uh, one cost with a counter effect of your leader or up to one of your characters gains plus 2,000 power during this battle. Then look at the three cards from the top of your deck and return them to the uh, top or bottom of the deck in any order. Really good card. Um, this is also added, uh, you can add this back by uh, Daz Bones. And uh, you can just set up the top three cards of your deck so your next draw could be something really, really powerful. Also, this card, uh, last card has a trigger of uh, return up to one card to cost of four less than other's hand, which is also pretty, pretty powerful. And this one has a trigger of draw two and trash one, which is absolutely insane in this deck. Uh, next, we're playing it, four Impel Down All-Stars. Now, this card, you aren't going to be playing from hand ever. 
there are some cards in this, Gum Gum Rain and uh, Gum Gum Giant Gavel, which you need to trash one from your hand to activate. This is going to be the card you're, uh, you're trashing because you're not going to be playing it uh, for its uh, main effect, just its trigger, or anything you need just to discard from your uh, hand via effect. Uh, because this is a one cost, so you can still get it off of like Buggy or Dos Bones, but its main effect reads, you may trash two cards from your hand. If your leader has the Impel down type, which Anami does not, you drop the two cards. So this is just trashing two from your hand. You never want to activate this from hand and just have it as discard fodder or hope you get it as your lifeguards. Next up, we have Arabesque Brickfish. We're playing two of. Uh, it costs two uh, event card with the effect of on main, return up to one character that costs a four less to the owner's hand, trigger of activate this card's main effect. Really, really really good card definitely something you need to look forward to playing next up we have gum gum rain a zero cost blue event with the counter of you may trash one card from your hand your leader up to or up to one of your characters gains plus two thousand power during this battle and trigger of return up to one character cost of two or less the owner's hand really good you're trashing again this uh cost of zero but it's another impel down card you can search via buggy death we're playing at uh four a cost of three counter your leader or up to one of your characters gains plus 6,000 power during this battle. Then draw cards until you have two in your hand. So playing this as like the last event card in your hand is super powerful. And a trigger of return up to one character the cost of seven or less to the other's hand, which is extremely powerful. Next up, we're playing four Usopp's Rubber Band of Doom. Now this and the next two event cards are where things really start like getting into like archetype here. Uh, Usopp's Rubber Band of Doom is a one cost. You can search this on the Dazzle Bones. Counter. Up to one of your leader or characters gains plus dozen power during this battle. Then you may trash the top card of your deck. And then have trigger of draw one card and trash the top card of your deck. So trigger is also really good for this uh, deck's main goal. But also this is turning uh, one Don into 2,000 Don worth of power. Or a 2k counter really. And you're trashing the top cards that get you one card closer to your ultimate goal of decking yourself out. Then we're playing four G Gum Gum Giant Gavel. A one cost so you can get off Dazz Bones. And it says counter, you may trash one card from your hand up to one of your leader gains plus 4,000 power during this battle. Then you may trash the top two cards of your deck. Trigger, return one character the cost of four less to the owner's hand. Really good. It's removal if it's a trigger. And it's just a really powerful counter. Then we're playing four Sanji's peel off, which is extremely good. You uh, rest three and draw two. If it's a trigger, um, you can activate this card's main effect. Really, really good. Uh, just super uh, versatile. And then we're playing two Love Love Beam as the last two cards of this deck. Um, two cost, counter, your leader or up to one of your characters gains 4,000 power during this battle. Then draw one card if you have three or less cards in your hand. So yeah, that's the deck list. I'm going to be running the deck list that I built. Very excited to be using this deck. I'll let you guys know how it goes in uh, this Friday's Store Championship event I'm going to. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have other videos I have, see if you like those as well. Share them with friends you might think uh, would like it. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.